Hey guys, Tony Mello over at Mello Properties Team Exit Realty Pinnacle. Hope you had a great uh, New Year. Uh, we've made some changes to uh, the uh, Mello Properties Facebook page, so we wanted to kind of highlight that for you, let you guys know what it is that we're doing and um, how some of these new things that we're adding in here uh, is going to benefit you guys. So if you type anywhere in the Facebook uh, search dialog box, um, and you type in Mellow Properties or anything like that, M E L O. Uh, you should something should pop up that'll get you to this page. Um, so it should be easy enough to, to do that. One of the very first things that uh, we have actually had for a while now is this little button that says "Sign Up" below the cover um, photo. I'll do that now. If you click on that, that'll go straight to MLS which is the multiple listing service uh, sign up page so if you're curious about an area if you want to know more about uh, uh, buying a single family condos commercial uh, rentals multifamilies anything like that and you want to sign yourself up to get property matches this is the way to do it um, once you get it on here if the search is not hundred percent perfect uh, you would just let us know and we can tweak it after the fact. Uh, for example, a lot of people that uh, come on here, they want rentals. So they'll do, wow, I want a single family rental. Clicking single family and a rental at the same time is not going to get you a single family rental. It's going to basically get you all the properties for sale, uh, single families that are for sale, and rentals. So uh, we find ourselves uh, often af after the fact of people logging in and signing up. Um, having to go back in there and removing that and, and tweaking this or the other way around uh, and, and making some changes, which we're okay with. That's not a problem. Um, I've spoken to MLS myself about uh, some of this and uh, trying to add a little bit more functionality. Um, they're worried that if they put too much in here, it's going to get so confusing that people are not going to want to use it. And I understand that. So. Uh, but it's, it's a basic search. It gets uh, you on the system, and then uh, we can tweak it after the fact uh, so that it matches a little bit more uh, what you're looking for. So that's the MLS uh, sign-up uh, sheet. Obviously, we get emails uh, as soon as you do sign up, uh, so we know that you're um, signing yourself up. We actually have to allow uh, you being added to the system, so we get emails uh, saying that uh, you've signed up and, and you're requesting uh, to be allowed on and then at that point we will just look at it and make any changes if need be so that's the sign up button a lot of the new stuff that we're doing is on over here and uh, so basically tab starting from the top here's a little welcome page another way of getting in touch with us we'll get emails we got a new uh, mellow properties team um, page and I'll show you that in a second. That's one way to access it is that way. Uh, if you're curious about schools in a particular area, there's a school report. You can actually, these two buttons here um, are almost the same thing because you can toggle back and forth between these two. I tried changing this to school slash community reports or just reports or something like that. I'm not allowed to do that right now. Um, as time goes on, maybe I'll figure a way of doing that. Uh, so these two things school community reports both are really cool uh, so you basically type in your address and sit search and uh, you know, you'll, you'll get information for specific schools in specific areas grades um, you know in ratings and all that stuff so if I were to do something for example 22 Cedar Street Taunton Let's give it a try. This is what schools, school reports. And so there you go. You know, St. Mary's, uh, Coyle Cassidy, Letty. The kids are actually going to Letty right now in uh, pre K. Uh, pre K? Pre K. Preschool. Um, John F. Parker, so and you get all this stuff, and you got information on here that uh, a lot of people are uh, very much interested in. So that's the school reports, and you know, obviously, you can kind of go through there and, and even do more stuff. Uh, for example, I'm gonna just play since I'm here, anyways. Letty, because the kids are going in there. I'll give you some more information. Total enrollment. And I went through here earlier, a couple days ago. 
All right, guys, I had to step away for a second, so I'm not sure where I left off, uh, which is okay. It's not a uh, professional video. It's just me and you guys. So uh, I think we were talking about school reports. Um, that tab up here, <clears throat> I just lost it right there, school reports. Type in the address, get a bunch of information uh, about uh, schools, school areas. I think there's information in here as far as ratings and that kind of thing. The community reports basically the same kind of thing you put in an address you'll get information on the community so um, you know population demographics housing uh, all of that sorts of stuff education levels get a sense of the area uh, try to match uh, the area to what it is that you're uh, looking for there was another thing in here that was pretty cool that I'm not sure if I what's nearby if you click on that uh, and so if you're, you know, obviously you're interested in the community, in the area, what kind of people, kind of uh, schooling systems, what kind of education levels, whatever it is that you're interested in that you want to research for that, uh, that community, you can get that here, school reports, and what's nearby, um, you know, obviously if, if you want to target areas that are easy to find restaurants or nearby, have nearby um, transportation, that kind of thing. Uh, same thing. You put the address in there, and it'll actually populate. Uh, you know what's what's nearby, and I, mean, I can probably look at this. There's you know banking systems, high schools, golf courses. There you go. Uh, gyms, athletic club. So there's stuff like that. It'll give you an idea of the community, the schools, and the amenities. What's in the area? You can get that through uh, either one of these two tabs. To be honest with you, both the school and the community reports. Uh, visit our webpage. That's that new Mellow Properties team uh, webpage. Let me double back to this. Um, at some point in time, we're going to have a tab in here that's going to be either home search or find a home. And directly on Facebook, you'll be able to search out properties. Um, I'm going to put those tabs, one of those tabs, up higher. Right now, it's not working. Uh, I was talking to the folks that put this together for us, and um, this find a home is basically the same thing. Not basically, it is the same exact thing as this visit our website. There's uh, another company that kind of squeezed themselves into the uh, the page here, find a home. This one here, and it's saying that we're not active. So they're trying to figure out why these folks are here, why... Um, you know they're gumming up the works here. I'm gonna try to get rid of them and put the uh, directly on. Sorry about that. Directly on Facebook um, uh, search engine criteria, so that you can type it in and, and search out properties directly on Facebook. You won't have to go anywhere else. So that's that's gonna be the plan. So I've got these two down here right now, and uh, we'll be working on that. Get that up to the top once it's uh, up and running. Um, featured listings. These are listings that we have direct visibility on as soon as it populates. These are listings that are in connection with uh, our broker. So we, uh, you know, obviously, these are all the agents in our office that have these listings, and we can uh, get more information very quickly on, on any one of those things. Our listings. So you'll get direct connection to any of the listings that we have. There's the Portsmouth, and there's School Streets below that, and a few others. Uh, reviews, and this we've always had on Facebook, and you can check out our reviews, what people are saying, why they're saying what they're saying, uh, how many stars, um, so so far since we've had Facebook, we've got 22 five star and one four star, uh, we won't go into the whole four star thing. Uh, my agent profile, and get more information on us, and we'll tweak this as time goes on. As we go down the list, that's going to be the idea. It's going to be, in my opinion, less and less um, critical, I guess. So we're going to put the stuff that we think that you need the most, two, three, four, five, six down from the top so that you get easy access to it. Uh, you know, and I don't, I'm not going to go through the entire thing because I mean, it's pretty obvious. These are services. That's videos that we've put on, videos to specific properties. Uh, you know, here's one that we had in New Bedford that we sold uh, last year, and there's some other videos in there that we throw on, uh, either talking about real estate or about uh, pro um, properties that we've uh, sold.
photos, posts, what else is on here? About, like, some of the stuff may even be redundant, you know what I mean? So that is probably the same thing as, you know, welcome. And so, um, and we may get rid of some of the stuff once we get into the, or not. I mean, it depends. It depends on what it is. We're, we're tweaking it, you know? And, um... You know, so that's basically, we've got, what, 10 minutes in. That's basically our new Facebook page. We are working on it. The uh, top three, four, five things that's going to be uh, the best for you guys is going to be that um, find a home once we fix it. We'll get it up here so that you can search uh, properties, get information on properties directly on Facebook. Uh, the reports, the school community, and what's nearby. Our webpage, actually, we want to go and do that. Um... And then that's probably one, two, three, the uh, find the home, and then the sign up if you want to get automatic emails uh, sent to you on specific properties. Um, this gets a direct connection to us, and some of these other things do also, but that puts you right on our MLS so that uh, you're going to get those properties. And if we need to change things and tweak things after the fact, it's easy enough for us to do to get you the information that you're looking for. So that's good for both buyers and sellers. And, uh, for example, for the buyers or renters, um, buyers, they would put themselves on there for what it is that they're looking for, what, where, you know, how much money, what's the max, what's what's the, uh, the least you want to spend. Um, you know, so that's for the buyers. For the sellers, they may want to um, know what their property is worth. Uh, we can do, obviously, um, market analysis for them. So you just you know contact us in any which way, and we'll get you that. But some people may want to set themselves up so that they – uh, search out properties that are similar to theirs um, and then at that point you'll be able to see what's sold what's currently on the market what the difference is between those two numbers because what people list it at and what they finally sell for are always two different numbers uh, or usually two different numbers um, so there's more than one functionality to setting yourself up on that MLS search, and that's good for both buyers, sellers, renters, anybody that wants anything to do with um, with real estate. And if you're not sure, contact us, and I'll, I'll help you go through um, what it is that you need to go through to, to get the information that you're looking for. So that's basically it. Let's go take a look at our um, Mellow Properties Team Facebook, Mellow Properties Team website not the Facebook this is the Facebook this is gonna be the the straight to website and we had these folks that we're working with right now set this up for us I mean a nice clean um, page specifically for um, buyers sellers um, and you know, you'll have different functionality and, and doing different things in here kind of similar to what uh, you've got there so if you were looking for more information on I haven't played with this myself. Find my location. Taunton. Search. I'm not sure if this is going to IDX and tell me exactly what uh, is on the market right now or not. I can see the little things going around in circles. It's going to ask you to register. Uh, quick, you know, so sign up on Facebook. That's just to make sure that uh, no one's trying to get access to the system. You get a lot of these malicious people out there that are... Um, trying to hack into people's pages and do things that they're not supposed to be doing. I'm not sure why that went back into community pages, community reports. I go in here, I go over here. Like I said, the system's new, so we're still working through some bugs. And uh, as time goes on, <coughs> excuse me, we'll uh, you know update it and, and let you guys know what uh, what we're doing and how we're doing it. Sign in, home search, search for homes. I said eventually this home search thing we're going to have directly on Facebook, so you won't have to go through any of that. Let's see if that bounces me back. It does bounce me back to community reports. Interesting. We'll work on that. Hope you guys are doing well. That's what we're doing with the Facebook page. There's some functionality on here that uh, uh, it currently works. Some of it doesn't work. We're working on it, so hopefully by the end of this week and uh, you know we're the third day into this year. Um, <clears throat> we'll have it done by the end of the week or sometime soon after that. So, hope you guys are doing well. Take care. And uh, I'm, I'll more than likely put another, hopefully quicker, um, video out there once we have things uh, fixed up and working well. Thanks. Take care.